Greetings, precious friends in the holy, blessed, almighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach, known more in this world as Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I'm using the name Yahushua HaMashiach because this is the real, true name of our Savior. The name Jesus Christ was given by the translators. It is a Greek name, but the true name is Yahushua Hamashiach. Amen. Amen. The blessed one that comes soon from heaven to rescue his bride, his children. So I rejoice with you, all of you whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I rejoice with all of you for uh, our salvation draweth nigh. Yahushua is coming. Our King is coming. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. But in the meantime, we have enemies attacking our Yahushua, attacking Holy God Almighty, speaking against God Almighty. They mock the messengers of God, despise His word, the word of prophecy. But they will face judgment of God as did their predecessors in the past. Note that in the second Chronicles chapter 36 verse 16 is written but they mocked the messengers of God despised his words and scoffed at his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy till there was no remedy and since God is the same in the past, today, and in the future, God Almighty does not change. The same will be also these days. And I would like to address one of the enemies of prophetic ministry, a mighty wind, and of the prophet, the most anointed prophet of God I know upon this earth Elizabeth, Elijah, Nicomiah, the apostle of God Almighty, the ring maiden, the Elijah of New these enemies are attacking this brave and beloved sister Elizabeth, Elijah, Nicomiah and one of them is, is this man whose name on YouTube is Crossway OKC. Crossway OKC. Crossway denies that God speaks today to the prophets and he says, and I quote, if the Holy Spirit were furious at it, which is, which the Holy Spirit is not, which the Holy Spirit is not, He's denying words that are in the prophecy. And more, he says, they say the Holy Spirit is furious. You see, in the prophecy is word of God Almighty, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the Mama Wisdom, she speaks to us by herself. The words are from her mouth. And this guy, he says, Oh yeah, they say this. He means the uh, ministers from a mighty wind. He's lying. He's lying. Let's see the prophecy 89. Uh, an excerpt from prophecy 89. And uh, judge yourself whether that's, this speaks God or this speak ministers from a mighty wind or God or people let's see when you read in the world that that's being translated and they dare to call my son Yahushua the son of man he was never the son of a man he's the son of Yahweh the son of Yah when you see this in the translation for how long now I have caused you to grieve and you have never felt peace in this and yet you explain all the translations do this. It is not by my hand. This is by Satan's plan. Although he was born in a human frame. 
although he suffered on the cross the pain he was never 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 the son of a man he is the son of Yah we see that it is the Holy Ruach HaKodesh that speaks and not a mighty with ministry team it is God who speaks not a man or woman crossway however does not accept it despite the fact despite the fact that in his own Bible he can read the words from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 19 and 20 and this is what it says this um, these two verses they say do not quench the spirit do not despise prophecies this is a commandment this is not for choice this is a commandment to the believers to us but crossway despises the prophecies moreover Crossway denies God Almighty and the Holy Bible teaching that Yahushua is the Son of God and not the Son of Man. As in some places in, King, in the King James Bible is written. Let's put to test the interpretation of Crossway. Book of Acts chapter 13 verse 33. God has fulfilled this for us, the children, in that he has raised up Yahushua. As it is also written in the second psalm, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. In Matthew chapter 3 verse 17 and chapter 17 verse 5, God says, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Do you hear crossway? Do you hear it? God says, this is my beloved son. It does not say, God does not say that this is the son of man. In Luke chapter 22, verse 70, 70, is written, Then they all said, Are you then the son of God? And he said to them, you rightly say that I am. So we see Yahushua himself testified that he is the Son of God. In Matthew chapter 16 verses 15 and 16 we read the following. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. So we see that the disciples themselves also testified that Yahushua is the Son of God and not of a man. In Matthew chapter 1, verses 18, 24, 25, is written the following. Now the birth of Yahushua, Hamashiach, was as follows. And I quote here, I read from the King James with the name Yahushua HaMashiach instead of Jesus Christ which is not the original the true name of our Savior now the birth of Yahushua HaMashiach was as follows after his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph before they came together she was found with the child of the Holy Spirit and Joseph being aroused from sleep did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took to him his wife and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son and he called his name Yahushua. So we see plainly that Joseph could not be the father of Yahushua and he knew it very well himself because an angel told him in addition to the testimony of Mary the earthly mother of, Jesus, of Yahushua called Jesus. Today called Jesus by men who don't know the true real name of our Savior. In Luke chapter 1 verses 30 and 35 we read the following. 
And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Yahushua. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Do you hear Crossway? The Son of God. So we see that an angel testified that Yahushua is the son of God. And Mary had the testimony of his divine birth, her personal testimony. To summarize, our holy God Almighty, Abba Yahweh, told us that Yahushua is his son. Yahushua himself testified he is the son of God. Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, testified and today, also in Prophet 89, the Holy Spirit, our precious Mama Wisdom, Mama Ruach HaKodesh, confirms it. However, despite this fact, despite it, Crossway OKC implies that the original Holy Bible tells us that the Son of God was the Son of Man. You see the twisting of the scripture. This is the attempt of, tw of twisting of the scripture by Crossway OKC. He does what the devil wants him to do and rejects the biblical truth that Yahushua our holy Mashiach is the son of God, not the son of man. So beware, beware, beloved of his teachings. Beware, beware. 